The Guadalcanal Battle by the D-Day Squad America was worried that once the Japanese finished constructing an airfield on Guadalcanal, they could easily attack Australia. On August 7, 1942, 19,000 Marines invaded the Japanese Navy with help from warships and supply ships. At first, everything went smoothly, but the Japanese quickly counterattacked us, forcing the U.S. Navy to retreat back to our half-unloaded ships. The Marines were running out of food and ammunition. They were also weak from the tropical diseases. Despite the troubles, they kept on fighting the Japanese. Many people doubted the Marines would even win. Even the Marine Major General Vandergrift had reasons they think they would fail. Luckily, they prevailed. Even though sometimes they were fighting on barefoot, the Marines beat the Japanese attack after attack. Finally, when the Marines were reinforced and resupplied, they beat the Japanese and finally con conquered Guadalcanal. After their victory, they started planning on how to attack the many other islands that the Japanese still had. America's senior commanders had to decide if they were going to slowly attack individual islands or attack the more important ones first. This was called island hopping, or leapfrogging. The leapfrog method was chosen by American commanders because they thought they would also lose fewer men.